Hi Dave. I bore it. I'm just getting my shit together. Right, got my drink and everything, I'm good to go. Let's go and beat up some dream people. Hey everybody. I just realised as well. We're on this playthrough, we're already longer than it took me to get the ending in two other playthroughs. They were literally just to get two endings for the Platinum. 16 hours for one. 19 hours for the other. Already gone over. <laughs> Kick him in the dick. Come the old dick twister. Right, where were we? We were. Oh well, yeah, we were here, weren't we? Blowing tower land. I found out the other day something I did not realise. This frenzy build up, it's like actual projectiles that hit you. So you can avoid it. You can. Also, I forgot to equip my fire. Where you at? There. We want high fire here because. I cannot be asked feeling the leeches from these guys. There. So yeah, you can kind of see the projectiles hitting me there. Also, they hit a weapon as well. They will hit the enemies. Yeah, it's like projectiles, like, see that glowing light over there? They fire out from there. But it's like billions of projectiles so yeah you can kind of see it when it does the spike oh we're at max so those spikes come out at random but the actual projectiles are hitting you like in a line from there it's just sort of special effect isn't it? so up this way is the 
giants in the elevator. So we're going this way. It's also why you don't get frenzy build up while you're rolling. Because you're technically dodging the spikes so they don't catch you mid roll. Tasty sedatives. And now for the area where everybody dies a lot. Because of these bastards. Not because you have to fight them, but because the other ones have a habit of throwing rocks at you while you're fighting them. Although they're ignoring me today. Or is it this next one that they do it? Yes, the next one. You can see him picking up a rock ready. And rock still got me. for the backstab if you can. Right. Give me more stuff. Chunk. Go on the blood rock, but the blood rock's like in there somewhere. I think it's right near the end of this area actually. Yeah, they should. It's disappointing that they can't like knock each other out with them. Right. Now for another fun room. Well, first. Got a bell ringing lady to kill. Yeah, you can see uh, you can see why it's the fun room there. Um where was the bell ringing lady? She's she's on the stairs, isn't she? Out here on a balcony somewhere. There. She also has a tentacle face. You can see a hint of it. There we go. No more bell ringing for you. Zer. Um. Where's my pebbles? Pebbles are good for this bit. <clears throat> there is a point that triggers in here when I'm coming after you and I can't remember where it is. Like if you go past a certain point in here they do start all coming down to get you. Uh, oh, you're already on your way. We'll get you then. As soon as you've got a longer way to come. Gonna run all the way around now. Might bring a couple of friends with it. No, on your own. Two swings is alright. So we've got one more there. We got you and the big ones. 
Kill all the spiders. There. So we've got two more little ones and, and the big mommy spider. So you and you and then we will go for a mummy spider there you are wait what's the day in two hits that's all them dead Time for Mummy Spider. Now, can I aim this right? I usually fail. Does no. it work? It's the overhead one, so. Got B. Just perfect, and you should be able to hit her. Nope. Bye bye, mummy spider. And now I can take my time and have maneuvering room for the next bit because. Big old booty bitch. Because there's another hunter out here. And if you don't clear out that room first, the spiders will come out of here and follow you. Hey, you can hear the baby cry. Right. Come on, you. Oh, you are not strong. But you have spells. more sedatives. It's what everybody needs. Works with most things, Dave. Alice Dungeon Materials. Creepy people in helmets. It's down this side. Is there anything over here? Nope. Pretty much ignore your first. Well, Greg, we were going to buy you one, but no, you said you're not allowed, so you're not getting one. Or you'll have to play the stupid high, stupid high new Norway prize for them. There's got more out there. This is going to be shortcut then. No secrets on this one. And here we have... Lantern. And the two giants we saw earlier from the start.
Oh, there's loads, Greg. Like, I had a look. I was like, oh yeah, there's like two or three games that I want. And then the list just kept getting bigger and bigger. And then they brought in the PlayStation collection, like the Plus collection, where you just got like God of War and stuff for free, just for having a PS5. Now they've added this PlayStation Plus extra thing, and there's just loads of games that want to play on it. I would say Ghost of Tsushima definitely wait for a PS5 before you play it like I bought it or I got given it as a present actually um, when I had a PS4 it would run on the PS4 on the PS5 it looks beautiful I block I've not seen any comparison or anything of uh, Death Stranding, but it being the kind of game it is, I reckon that would probably look a lot better on PS5 as well. <laughs> yeah, Block with Sin. Poor Greg. Right, so... Go in this way then. This is where they start getting aggressive. And you get the big ones as well. Here. Weird ass poison whips. Also, my weapon is almost broken. Go and fix it. <gasps> Grab. Dirty. Dirty gems are poison or something like that. I don't think I've ever used one. Right, next. Lantern we get to. I need to go and repair my weapon. Uh, got my knowledge. You're gonna try and push me off. You are. I'm sure there's another one over here. Yeah, you've just got the crossbow in it. Ow! Alright, so you can't be parried, apparently. And now I've got a shoot poison. Oh, fuck it. knock her over the edge, but apparently not. Yeah, everybody has a spare kidney. Oh yeah, my weapon is in serious need of repair. I don't know why I'm able to come through twice. Hi Eva Creatives, how are you? And he's just walked off for us. Nice.
I am currently uh, beating my way through this nightmare area with a broken weapon. <gasps> Rag. Books, more books. Anything over here? No. Elevator it is. That is a short elevator. Dog heads. I know the dog has a bird head. Weird ass creatures. Hi, shiny. How are you? Hmm. Got those ones up there. How do we get to this one then? Rolling. Almost. Hey, he jumped down. <gasps> well, I do all of my own graphics. Almost all of my own graphics. However, if you would be willing to send me a free sample that I can look at, like a portfolio of your work, something like that, Maybe I'll think about it. Spot. Don't think I will. I was only asking for free stuff. <gasps> New shortcut. Wee. This goes all the way down to the building entrance again. Greg, that's my portfolio. I made that. Right, was the doll hiding? Is she going up there? Fuck you, gammon. There we go, pistol is at plus nine. Wow. Yeah, that weapon was completely broken. Oh, uh, you can only still only have one gem. I've got beast, um, but I've not really been using the pellets. More items, more echoes, poison frenzy, damage reduction, more blood, health, this lot attacks, bullets, files, stamina. So we got stamina. Where's the all damage reduction one gone? 
taking all damage reduction there, 4%. And then HP. And do you. You what? Welcome, what is it? Is enough Very for a level? Lovely. Just one? I do. More health time. Farewell, good hands. <laughs> We got 589 out of 600 health vials. That should do us for a while. I don't feel sorry for these ones, Dave. 90% uh, of them use stolen content. So if you look at any four or five of them, they all have the exact same logos because they just all have the same templates. They just colour them in. Like there is a like a gamer logo creator thing that got released years ago. And like they almost all use the template from that. You done, you done. Into the building with the crying baby. Where? Oh, it's the mannequin. I know you want to stay dead, but you're just in the way at the moment. Time to go and find the crazy man. Ah, cause. Or some say cause. Do you hear our prayers? Miquelage. No, we shall not abandon the train. Dude is the closest thing there is to a wizard in this game. <laughs> like, he has all the spells. Right. How did this chase bit work? I know there's a specific way to do this bit, and I can't remember. Other than... So, bullets, there he is. I do like that those things like drift like they're actually on strings. You kind of slightly see strings on them as well when they they do. Oh, it's a dead body. I always forget that that the dead body's there. It will not surprise me if that's true, actually. <laughs> oh, 
on, you bastard. No. Bees! Right, is he gonna go in? Yes. He's not dead. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Majestic. Majestic. Even in a dream. But alas, not too fast. We go down. Because there is actual loot here. Not just this. Chunk. Oh, you can be parried. I was just bad at it. Move that little crossbow. I spent forever doing this the first time, Dave. Like, actually forever. Moon Rune. Like, first time I did this boss, I must have spent good half an hour or so just running in circles trying to find my way around. But once you realise the trick of it, it's not so bad. But yeah, coming in here the first time, you just run in circles for ages. Right. Back to chasing again. Come here, bitch. Almost went the right way straight away. Right, can I get this to work? Ugh. He's not allowing it. But he went straight into the place he was supposed to. That's time. So now we can go and fight him proper. This leads back out this way. <gasps> Hi, Vicky. Hi, everybody. Hi, Philip. Hi, Omni. Hi, Jaime. I'm kind of winning at the moment. Thank you for following. Everyone can say that. Super fragilaculous. Super fragilaculous. Oh god. Super fragilaculous. Almost, Vicky. Super fragilistic gigs. Almost. Super fragilistic. Oh my god, it's gone. It's gone. Super fragilistic. Hey, Almost. Where's my inner uh, Julie Andrews? <laughs> <laughs> Almost. I can see it, guys. I can see it. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That's the word you're looking for. Got him. No, you are 
you're not going to use your stars everywhere, thing. <laughs> I am good. You beat him up. I am uh, working my way through more of the story because I was doing the chalice dungeons, but I'm on the mean ones that give you like half health. So I don't wanna. But now I've got a cool hat to wear as well. <laughs> and for some reason, all of my like alerts and everything are coming through twice, and I can't work out why. It is doing something weird. How are you, Vicky? How is Farming Simulator? Have you parked another car on the roof yet? It is what we're all waiting to see. Right, we have new routes open. <gasps> I am going for the build that lets me break everything. So literally vitality and skill and nothing else I've done a bunch of builds before like last couple of times I played through the game I did a arcane build going after all the spells using um, cause parasite and then I also did a like pure strength build using the Kirk hammer for the entire game and now this is supposed to be me trying to beat all the bosses in a most broken way I can or trying to anyway now where's the door hidden I always forget where it is so yeah at the moment I have the uh, saw spear as I can get it, pistol as high as I can get it, and fancy clothing from the chalice dungeons. But for now, I'm going to wear my fancy new cage. There. It's what we want. Now, there it is. A door in here somewhere. I always forget where it is. It leads you to the secret area. can't find it, I'll have to just go the other way and fail at rolling onto it like I normally do. That ah, must be the other bit. Right, ahead we go. I'm going to need to repair that weapon again because everything likes to break it. Points going to health. Oh, I'm not good enough. Farewell, good Have to max out those blood vials then. I have a philosophy when I'm playing this game, which is any spare blood I have left over goes on vials and bullets, and then I never have to grind them. And now I've got a shit ton. Um, oh, I can actually buy fire paper and stuff now. Do it. Um, get our pebbles back. It's poison as well. And some coins. Um, what I should do though. Other than saying fuck you, girl. We'll check what Moon Moon does. Uh, moon. Oh yeah, that's the one that gives you shit ton more blood. And then lots of bolt paper. 
Right, let's go ahead and mess around with the rest of the nightmare. See, after I've done these few bits, it's back to the the mean, mean chalice dungeon. Dog! Bird. Bird dog. More chunks. So that's where we want to get through there, that bridge. We have to go around here a bit. Ignore them. I'm gonna activate this. Missed. Ah. And we die. So yeah, there's a little window you can roll out onto, and I, I'm terrible at it. Try again. Oh, I can hear one of those lanterns as well. So, activate you. Ah, too early. Ah. Time for all of this to die. Horribly. going. Ignore the creepy singing. Right. Look, you see somebody else doing it. I did the exact same thing the dead guy did. secret area. It's all I want. Yeah, somebody else dying. Me. Did it. Oh, no. And we get loot straight away. Is challenge dodge and stuff. Now you do friends. Go on. Ah, that didn't work. Almost enough to kill me as well. Alright, I'm dead. Shh. Creepy singing lantern thingy. I will get you. And elevator again. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I made the jump down, so I actually have to call it back up again. Beat see it down there. Making fun of me. And it's got my blood as well. His eyes are glowing. Come on, Brian. It takes so long. Problem is I can't just walk forwards because there's a small gap between the cage and the wall. If you do that, you just walk out into empty space and die. So we've got to time it just right. Somebody gave me a tip before on like a, a supposedly easier strap beating them and I've completely forgotten it. But I know there's anti-frenzy clothing and stuff but no. Stop doing things twice. Hey, hey. It turns like a full 360. Let me go. Sedatives. Quest boy. Upog, I am first, so where the fuck is your hat? <laughs> is your ass still burning, Spike? I don't have my hat on today, I bumped my head earlier. My top of my head is aching. So I have left it off. Spike pretending he didn't like the burning butt sensation. Where's the best place to sleep on 101?
I managed the dodge. Gem. Tempering damp or gem. Right. Now we have the weird spiders. All have ball cuts. For whatever reason. Can't get any more bullets, can't get any more bullets. I need my pebbles here, I need to throw stuff. There. How are you doing today anyway, Spike? You've been having fun in the greenhouse as we all saw. <gasps> Look, it's the creepy eye thing. You can see it dangling over there. But if we pull this... gonna go and find it first we have this bit to do pebble because they gave us this lovely bit where there's another lantern over there on the other side There's also this doorway that leads out here. It's just the other door. Right, frenzy stringed. Run! Did it just in time. Over here we got loot. I am good. I have finally started my exercise routine again. So I can become less of a fat bastard eventually. So that bell that we just got, that item, is amazing. In multiplayer specifically. It is a healing item. So if I go down here, where is he that? Choir Bell. So it does like an AoE around you, it heals everybody in it, and it heals for a silly amount. Like on my arcane build, with all the buffs it gets, I can literally sit in a boss fight, help somebody by spamming that and healing them up. We go this way, because this way is the loop. Great one's wisdom. Arcane bad damp jam. Great one's wisdom. So we need to go this way because the blood rock is this way. So we drop down here. We don't go down that hole. That is a trap. Blood Rock will allow us to fully upgrade our weapon. Break through here. This takes us back out to this bridge. But I need to go back up 
Um, I need to go find Mikolash's door. So, past all these nerds. Past these nerds. Past the big nerd. Oh yeah, this one's here. Get in this instead. Now we can go and see the big eye. This is one of those things that's like easily missable. But you might spot the the roll off on the elevator to get to the lever, but you might never spot this. And look! His big eye friend. And it literally does nothing. It's got big claws. It's got a tail. Got some tentacles. Covered in eyes and stuff. Another big claw, but it does nothing to us because it is friendly. The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man. So we're gonna send him a message. Hello friend. Mom, do it. Do it. Do it. Try again. How long do I have to leave it? Do the special thing. Just realised you can hear its heart beating as well. Boom, boom. He is married to the Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man! Come on, do it. There we go. And the big eye thing gives us a present. Now we kill it. Say we play out of its misery. material that we'll need. Now I need to find Mikolash's door. So this takes us out of the abyss. Call the elevator, Donna. Oops. There. Bye. <gasps> Hi, late. How are you, Manu?
I'm good. I've just been doing secret bits. And got myself a fancy new hat. Right, so. His secret door is in here somewhere. I just need to remember where. Stupid mannequins, go away. I'm sure it's a long way. Is it this? It is this. And now we get the rest of the loot from here. Madman's knowledge. The Muffin Man. Another damp, bludge tinge down. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, I didn't speak properly then. <laughs> Great One's Wisdom. Great One's Wisdom. And we have all the stuff. This is everything we needed. We can now bitch out. And we will sneak back to the Hunter's place to uh, check for or do our upgrades. We got the blood rock, didn't we? Blood rock. Blood rock. Also, fuck you, Gavin. <gasps> Buzz! Why are my alerts not working? There. That's why. Buzzard has brought back up. One viewers are here for blood. <gasps> Hi, Buzz. Meow. <laughs> 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 yeah, it should do it automatically. So we got Moon Moon. See, look. Now we've got the uh, the present from the giant eye thing. We've got all three. And if you ever want a power level, you just equip all three of those at once and run through Chalice Dungeons, raking in the points. Man who doing the gamba. <laughs> yeah, it's because I bumped my head earlier, boss. So, okay, I'm not wearing a hat. It hurts my head. Man, it's pro gamble. <gasps> oh yeah, I have a new toy. Because I want to do Because <laughs> I want to do the um, An origami instructions Like origami teaching stream at some point I was looking for uh, Easier ways to film stuff So look at this that I've got now Fly go 
Turn you on. Get my phone. Look, chat, it's you. And yeah, can you use this for like doing origami stuff? It's Manu. And yeah, yeah, boss, I do have. I have long hair. But yeah, I, I did not spend most of my day at work. <laughs> yeah, I did not spend most of my day at work um, setting stuff up like that because my brain wasn't working. And Manu is not ugly and I'm being invaded. Sinister bell resonates means somebody has invaded me. Shoo! That sounded close as well. Like, they are not far away. There he is. Hello. Pretty much got the same build as me as well. We fighting? We're fighting, you're coming down here. Oh, he does nothing. Trying transform attacks. It's cute. What you need to do, mate, is be more aggressive. Like that. Bye. Why are you running? <laughs> Sit down, nerd, for the almighty trouble the butt base. Yeah, the one thing I learned about. PvP in Bloodborne is it happens either one of two ways. Either you both sit there chipping away at each other forever or one of you is more aggressive and the winner. Airplane food. What's the deal with that? I don't know. You should message Morpho and ask him. Definitely the kind of question that Muffle would enjoy. No trouble, boss format. <sighs> no. He fall off. He did, he fell off. Cars, baby zooming, what's the deal with that? Yes. N no. Yes. Um, I don't know. I updated stuff earlier and now it's doing everything twice. 
Archicle, what's the deal with that? Oh, <gasps> piggy. My no. travels, what's the deal with that? Everybody remembers what we do to piggies. Bart's come on Manus Pizza. What's the deal with that? In the Core ass. Menu. What's the deal with that? Wait. I didn't even upgrade my weapon, I forgot. Oh well. Trouble base. What's the deal with that? <gasps> Boz LTD. What's the deal with that? Menu. Thank you. You've been a great audience. Chunks. You know, stand up, you try. No problem now, get the fuck off the stage, beach. You know, there's a, a comedy club in Manchester that my mum and dad have been to a few times. I've been to it at least once. There is a dude there who will actually say get that. This man from the audience. It's like if your set's going badly and that dude's there, he's just like, yeah, your set's going shit. Get off the stage. There is Bellwoman. Bitch. Oh no, it's more of them. Uh, no, it's literally just called the Comedy Club. But they, uh... Yeah, they will straight up just tell you get off the stage if you if your set's doing badly. Right, mm, piggy. I can hear them start as two of them, and there's you nerds. Come on then. Boss, your act was chill. Not perfect though. Not too bad either. Just casual in my opinion. Just saying casual doesn't make the cut for next round, so by here you are out. Try next stream again, please. Shadows of you, I come with this one easy trick. Just parry them. <laughs> kind of disappointed we don't actually get any paramancy in this game. My pure heckling was shit, not good, not even okay, just shit in my opinion, just saying shit doesn't make the cut for next round so by here you are out. Don't try again next stream and stick to what you know, your pepper ranch. And a bomb. Yeah, you're both terrible. You're both like banned from performing at this club. Boss, oh. shut the fuck up! Lolo, 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 yeah, this is one of the best areas to farm echoes outside of Chalice Dungeons. There is always the famous Com Dungeon if you want to do Chalice Dungeons. Spike, shut the fuck up, you mother chuffer. Or if you want to do actual fighting, just like one of the... Um, What they call now? Lost something dungeons gives you a shit ton of echoes really easily, especially if you have all three moon runes, which I do. 
Bart, do the thing you beach something with an apple from a tree perhaps? Kuva. Kuva. Look. Bart can't do the apple this joke. Lady. It has sugar and Bart can't have sugar for reasons I can't say. Gotcha. Then we go this way. And there is a loot box. <gasps> or Bart. And now this elevator leads to. to lead back down to the shotgun. It does! Does the joke involve putting it into his behind? Right. Shout out to Bart Shakel, my favorite bleached baldy. Oh, Bart. Right, um. Fuck it, I'm gonna go do the boss. I'm gonna see if I can do the thing that breaks it. Well, it doesn't break it, I just wanna see if it still works. So I don't know whether it was ever actually a bug or not. So you have all these cage men. And you have a baby. Time to kill the baby. What do you oh. call an apple on the floor? Floor. Right. Watch this. So this weird thing. Which has like no face or anything. And lots of swords. Dance for me, bitch. What do you call a comedian dying on stage? Dance for me, bitch. Barchik. Oh, it doesn't do it anymore. It must have been a bug. I agree with boss. And I should have put spark paper on. What is that? Spark paper, spark paper, spark paper. There. Dance for me. Dance for me. Oh, she's doing it. So yeah, for some reason playing this music box sometimes makes her hop sideways. So now she casts darkness. Wait, hold up. A wet nurse? TT sex. Yeah, 10, 10, 6. Time to kill the baby. Oh. Hmm. 
Nightmare Slay. Now you've played the YouTube video showing how to defeat the boss, can we see you do it? Trouble. No spike, you could no boss. You could just watch the YouTube video and that's all you're getting. Right. Time to head back to the Hunter's Dream. Now we have Labyrinth and DLC to do. Look, it's all on fire. And Garmin is gone, finally. Hold the fuck up. I am not even closely looking or sounding like fucking boss. No offense, thought boss. You look exactly like boss, what are you talking about? We all know what Boz looks like, and he looks like exactly like Spike. It is true. Right, so we got a curse, which I don't want to use. Tempering is up 18. Ooh. Wait, is Boss as handsome as me? He 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 he. It's true, people always mistake me for Spike, I'm fed up of it. Right, we're gonna pour. So your plus 18, plus 19 by 8. We'll do that one. 296. You're above 18%, so that's good. Gone. Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt! You make me sick, you big baby! <laughs> right then. Um, see if we can't get some health or something. There's two things in the world that I hate more than anything, and that's one, racial intolerance, and two, the Dutch. Well, you'll be happy to know, Boz, that... King of the Hill is coming back. They're doing a new series of it. I found out like two days ago. Max. Max. Um. I mean, I'm throwing knives. So, base game pretty much done. Got a couple of bosses left of the base game. Let's go and see if I can't do this doggo. I thought it had been confirmed. Oh well, right. Chalice Dungeon, now on half health. All the other bullshit. My health bar now. Let's go and fight this dog. Wait, I just leave here, okay, John. Right. Wish me luck. Lunge oh. is always first. There we go for the legs. Ah, it's not too bad on the damage. I just need to make sure not to get hit. At all, ever. No, it's not. I fucked up. That's, that's the dumbest move I've ever done.
Ow. That's right, he lunged in the wrong direction. Double explosion got me. <sighs> well timed was. But he's doable. We can do him. <laughs> ah. It reset the elevator. So it's a good thing to have on here. We'll buy a Sefka's violin. You just a big heel, yeah. And we'll put beast blood pellet on because they're always good. accidentally switch off my weapon. Right. Reset, as Greg says. Reset. Start again. It's a dead run. second swing but I can get him I can do it I just gotta get better at dodging
going for his legs, I can hit him directly in the head, which has a high chance of staggering him, but it's also very risky because he spews out lava and things like that. That bit. Bastard. I'm trying to get behind him because it's the safest place to be, but... Actually getting behind him is the hard part. does a second swipe back the other way if I'm within range. If I'm not in range, he just does the one. No, no, big explosion, big explosion. Not lucky. No! So close! I got lucky. 
lucky on the big explosion and got caught in the double swing. GG Beach. Shop Spike. Shop Boz. No, your timing was off that time, Boz. It was less than perfect. Because loser, you're a loser. Are, are you feeling sorry for game? yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt. You make me sick, you big baby. I think there's only one boss, one other boss that's supposed to be harder than this. Um, and he doesn't show up until later. I don't think. If I stay in range, he does it twice. So I'm gonna make sure to just roll instead of trying to heal. Dead in five, four, three, two, one, loser. Uh, Bart's the only one who's managed that on the stream so far. And he's done it to both me and Alex. Galaxy Odyssey. Or I like spending forever on the, uh, the jump rope.
Yeah, when he was on the other side of the arena and he sort of leapt over me. I'd never seen that one before. Right. Last beast pellet. Or I have to go out and get more. Him die again to this boss. Lol, 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 that attack that I keep getting. It's like the delayed second shot swipe that he does. Right. It's already done it. Right, um, what else do we have? Uh, no, that's not gonna do it. No. <laughs> I wonder if it can even be poisoned. Let's go. I'm going to chuck some poison knives at it this time just to see. Like it's literally made of fire, so I don't expect it to be able to be poisoned. But... No. No poison. What do 
see you call a chocolate bar on the floor. A health risk to members of our community. Stay safe. Um, is Lan via Pork Wing, Gicko Geru, Hindrovo, Clan Tassilio, Go Go Go. What was I going to look at? Right, the ISF because one's the only other heal one I've got. Sabrina. I am not in a nice place. This is the uh, half health. Chalice Dungeon. swing again. It's always that one that's getting me. Ah, that one was still off. He spaffed it on the first one and that's it. He's not been able to do it right since. the most death I've had on a boss so far. <laughs> I think this and the elevator have killed me the most so far. Where? 
Let me, how you doing, Brina? You have come to see me do the cursed dungeon, which is like half health. So this thing can actually one shot me with some of its attacks. That lunge, if it catches me full on with that, I'm dead. Yeah, beat me clash first try. I managed to stop him casting any spells in the second bit, so he wasn't too bad. That's the second we're after. Explodes. No, Tuesday I did, um, I watched the Gamescom thing and then I was too tired afterwards. It's because I almost never open it, Brina. Like, I used to open it when I was on the, I used to do Pokemon Go when I was on the bus and stuff, and then I just didn't. No! Stupid double swipe again. <gasps> you know, the Pokemon Master. It is that one move that keeps getting me. Right, 
and shut up spike it was so much easier when I had arcane weapons this thing takes shit and <laughs> damage from arcane spells in it. And the drive got me. But yeah, that charge will one-shot me. If it catches me full on like that, I'm dead, no matter what. What's that spike? You went to the gym for lightweights. You're not supposed to do heavyweights at the gym. Sick burn trouble. No, we all know Spike just went to the gym to rub chilies on the bench. For the next poor person who sits on it. You're uh, gonna sit and take this spike. What's this, Prina? Oh. <laughs> You know he's actually got like a, a genetic mutation that helps him build muscle. He's got like a... what it's called now? Like a myelin deficiency or something like that? Basically it helps you build up more muscle fibers faster. Like natural steroids. Yeah, it's, um, so you can get a supplement that does it, but it, well, not really a supplement, it's something you've got to inject straight into your muscles. But it helps you build up more muscle fibers faster. But Ronnie Coleman was born with the gene that helps that happen naturally. But yeah, it fucks up your joints and everything afterwards. <laughs> Any excuse. I'm 
sorry Spike that was a bad redeem, that's not a good redeem I have to say. Shut up boss. I'm gonna go here by the charge. just in case. I don't know if he counts as kin as not or not. Hey, but boss. Worth a go. Hey, spy. How about a nice cup of shut the fuck up? Tell that it does less. How about you STF you and go back to your one kilo weights and peppers spike la 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 Jump attack won't chop me. Bully. <laughs> right, so Spark isn't worth it. Now to try the dumb thing and see if he actually still counts as a beast. I would be surprised if he counts as a beast. Even though he's on fire. <laughs> I fire with fire, just on the off chance.
does a lot less. Ah oh, well, I let them try and just in case, so you know physically it is. I did Brina but I've done like a couple of bits where it's been just me dicking around doing Gambit and stuff like that but Destiny 2 is like my chill out game so I wouldn't want to stream it a lot because it would take the fun out of it for me. There is a lot of time that I spend in Destiny 2, like, wandering around looking at stuff while I'm doing missions. Like, they brought out the new season. And I played it for a bit yesterday. And... They brought out a new mission, takes you to a new area. Anyone remember when Trouble beat more than one boss a stream? <gasps> and that mission usually takes you about 15 minutes. And I was in that mission about 45 minutes looking at all the stuff and... Oh no, that's the pre-order for the next expansion. Like, the stupid silly special edition is like 100 euro. So yeah, the new, the new expansion that's coming out, God knows when. Remember when he did like six good old times? I remember when Spike used to be streamed and be good at games. I've already done um, Mikolash and Wet Nurse. <laughs> but yeah, this is the hardest boss in the game. For me anyway. There is one that's supposed to be harder. 
in another dungeon, but it might not be too bad with this build I'm on. The year is 2060, most of humanity has been wiped out, barely anywhere is habitable, in one of the last few areas trouble is still streaming, he is still on this boss saying I can do this chat. And Boz is still working his way towards affiliate. Hi, Greg. Anything is going to make me run out of blood vials, it's going to be this boss. episode you want, Greg? Oh, which one did you watch last? Eight for eight, is it called the Tarantino film? Yeah, my favorite episode was the uh, the collector convention. Either that or like one of the new episodes that they released um, about Calliope, the news. And it makes me angry because of the subject matter, but it's still a cool episode.
by it. Yeah, it's a false too. He does the charge. Big explosion. And now he goes faster. The sword I broke is like that. Right, this is the lava. Got you, you cunts. There we go. Defiled root chalice, cursed fire, damp blood gem. Right, let's go and see how many how many um, vials I used because I was on maximum vials when we started. Which is 999 in the bank and 20 in my pockets. So how many do we have? Oh, three at 600. Still at 20, so we've used... 123 vials. On that one boss. That's why you always buy vials with your spares. Yeah. Right. Fire. 521. We're getting there. And there we go to the next level. So I'm going to run through this next level, see who the next boss is, if it's who I think it is. And if, if it is who I think it is, it could be as hard or harder than this one we've just done. So, first we get through this next one. So is there a side path? There is not. Light the torch. And we go in here. Ooh, we're on the opposite side. So we've got dogs. Hunter. Big ugly dogs as well. Dog up. There is boss door. Got 
you. Who is? Trap. Maybe. Cardo heading in. Nothing. Nothing. Only one way to go then. I think I didn't see you standing up then. Alright, so we've got a sludge pile area and you are Waller. Sludge pile. Left or right. Let's go right where all the rats are. Rats, 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 rats. Oh, there's a bat in here as well. Ah, ah. So, the ones that I'm doing, Breener, are, they call them the Story Towers Dungeons. So these are all set layouts, set enemies, and there is an end to them, an end boss to them, is what I'm trying to get to. Uh, but there are randomised Chalice Dungeons which do go on forever. You can just keep doing them and doing them and doing them. The randomised Chalice Dungeons usually have better rewards as well. They're just tougher. And of course random. Boss <gasps> door. But these set ones all have set bosses, like set layouts and enemies and set rewards. But it is how you get like all the stuff for the proper ending of the game. Right, so that opened the boss door, what's down here then? We have... <gasps> loot room? Loot room. Make sure there's no enemies hiding about. Ritual blood. Batman's knowledge. Oh, these dungeons are the only place you can get two specific weapons as well. Uh, there's a claw weapon, which is the only. This is the only place you can get it. And there's a another weapon I forgot the name of that you can only get in these dungeons as well. Right, let's go and open the boss door. I forgot that these dungeons, because they're the cursed ones that are half health, they're much shorter. So there's going to be Scourge of Sanity. Don't give up. Fear Amazon or Time for Treasures. Right, I am going to nip back spend this 85k I've got and then we will do the boss we'll see which one this is yeah my went through the first of the great tree I heard well 
Oh yeah, I have literally only been leveling health and skill. So like, considering how I was doing that boss then, I had more health than you're supposed to. Look at all the pretty fire. this time everything saying scourge of sanity and stuff like that so I'm not sure unless it is the very difficult one I was thinking of oh, straight across Your Amazon. Time for physical. All thanks to common sense. Hit and run. Long range fight. <laughs> Good luck. Who have we got? We have. Yep, Amagdala. So this may actually be the most difficult one. This is supposed to be the most difficult boss in the game. It may be slightly easier for me on this build because I'm pure physical. I could damage his arms a lot better, but as you can see, he slaps. Give him a few whacks and then if it does seem really bad, I okay, was just going to do the DLC. I can still do that before the end of the main game. Or I have to do that before the end of the main game, actually. Yep. So you can fight one in the nightmare. <laughs> one shot. So there's an optional nightmare place you can go to where you fight one. And then there's this one in the Chalice Dungeon where you fight when you're on half health. <laughs> yeah Bart, he one shot me. Single slap. He just did a dig slap in front of him and knocked me out. However, because it's amygdala, what may be useful. I did this guy last time, I was arcane and did it all ranged. That's how I beat him last time.
dump the juice. Feed and kill that. Forgot that was a summon. On that, it does a shit of the damage. Actually, getting hits on it is really hard. His other arm is taking very bad damage as well. The big glowy one is the one that you want. I landed on me. Can break his legs to stagger him, but does fuck all damage compared to the arms. Luckily, I have like I do need more bolt paper. I have a shit ton of madman knowledge on stuff I can use.
20. Fuck you, Sam. We'll give him a couple more attempts. If not, we'll go and drop into the DLC. And then I'll pick up from there next time. Again, one shot slap. Just in a picture of the mimic here. It looks amazing. Got a quick nosy at Discord while it was loading. Okay, we're going to the DLC. Beating this guy could be like a stream in itself. Run away! Yeah, we should have gone back here anyway. We have somebody to see. Come on. Oh 
she's not got she's gone. The prostitute is gone and there's just blood everywhere. You off you done with her. There ain't no more survivors. There can't be. Your arm's done for. So chalice bosses, I've got this chalice dungeon. And then two more. But this the chalice dungeon we're on is the hardest one because it's the defiled so you're on half health the rest of them I'll have my full stuff uh, base game bosses I've got two more and I've got the entirety of the DLC to do there ain't no more going on. Right. go and see what happened to this lady our prostitute friend she went this way Look, it's her baby! It can't be! This is a nightmare! <laughs> Got it. And then she dies automatically because she's connected to it. Yeah, we've got another umbilical cord. That gives us two, three, four umbilical cords. And you only needed three. And then we've got all that madman's knowledge to use. I will pop all of that before we do the final boss fight just for the hell of it. go into the final boss fight with as much insight as we can. Might actually be really bad because it uses spells, but whatever. And now... Crazy old lady. Crazy old lady who deals in sedatives. Right. Time to get to the DLC area. You come give me a lift. Yeah, when you take the DLC into your account, like Bloodborne is a decent length, just the base game, like you can get through it quite fast. Right. And we are in DLC land. Should be somebody in here to talk to. Door that doesn't open. Oh, he's not here. Never mind. Welcome to wonky DLC land. Where everything is a mess. But we're going to finish there. Because it is late. And I should get sleep and stuff before work tomorrow. So. We're in the DLC. We will be doing the DLC and then going back to Chalice Dungeons. And then it's just Chalice Dungeons to the end boss. So. Go to the disc screen. Ah, uh, we shall find somebody to raid who is online. Hello, Twitch, where are you? about do I know anybody 
we can go and give abuse to. Say hello to Iris. Oh, yeah. Thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you for the large amount of TTS spam. Large amount of TTS spam. Uh, yeah, thank you for the, the raid, Vicky, if you're still there. Thank you for the new follows. Thank you everybody coming in. Thanks for hanging out. I'm going to go and raid Iris and then crash and pretend to be dead for a bit. So, I will see you all next time. Keep an eye on Discord. I'll put on there like what I'm doing next week and when I'm going to do the Orikami stream as well. So, bye-bye everybody. Bye-bye.